All right, drawing the data onto our form. We're going to need to use this method. On this form, we can invoke methods. Now, it takes a delegate. Async result, again, I'm not too familiar with. with the res async result what's returned from this method but I can however pass in a delegate and some arguments so we'll do that let's create a delegate to show twitch TV and we're going to pass in our twitch TV So every three seconds, we pull switch, grab the data, deserialize it, and send it out so the form can use it. I have to create that function. So let's start the delegate. That's the name of our delegate, and it's going to return void. It's going to take a Twitch TV as a parameter and this is the event that we're going to declare to access event show twitch tv cool now when we initialize the form we can subscribe to our own event And the function we want to call when our event's fired. So twist TV on the form. All right. So after the data is pulled, it passes the results into this function via the, the delegate we just described above. So once our call reaches this method, we are now on the UI thread. This method is being called inside of a thread. So no drawing can take place on the UI, which is our form, user interface. So we're going to invoke this method, which can be, which can draw, excuse me, to the directly to the UI so we have some labels that we want to draw to label viewers label followers and label views label viewers equals oh there we're going to access the text property I love IntelliSense. String format <coughs> So here we want Twitch stream viewers we can format that in triple digits
we do the same for all the others followers and views channel followers and twitch stream channel views looks good to me let's run it and see what's the behavior ah here we are Capacity level is, is set to what we have it. We have two followers, 18 views, and zero viewers right now. I told you I needed to store these viewers in the long. It's too many of them. All right, let's continue. There's an error. Additional. Ah, when the form closed, this is still running. Now I was trying to access this object to to invoke the function on so we need to stop the running before we exit and there's events all over this thing that we can access on closing on closed on closing sounds like the best choice when the form is closing, we'll stop our threads from running. And how, how will that be done? I think it's as easy as this. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Hey, viewer. It says I'm, I'm almost at the end of this right now. So, as you see, I have a viewer down here on the stream, one, view, one viewer, one viewer in our Twitch API viewer, two followers, 18 views. So, it's successful. And now, let's close it to see if we still get that crash. And it closes successfully. Mm, there you have it. Build your own Twitch API, pull your whatever data you want down from the stream display it to yourself on websites or whatever it's all up to you this was a c-sharp windows tutorial to get a channel's twitch's viewer account brought to you by Callow creation don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media visit our website and quals thank you